Mercifully cleansed by the media they named Apophis. We had such plans, all thwarted by one man, Nicholas Rain. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The ecopods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses. We take their compounds. We take the arcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority! Nothing good. Better gear up and move out. It's go time, right? Yeah, grab your gear. What is that? I'll secure the door. my kill. You gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right, then let's go fucking get some. Not at all. It's gonna be hard to keep score. I was never much for counting. Walker! We need you in the courtyard. Now! We're on our way. Got Lily too. Jersey's been up. Boys have warned you of the settlements. They gotta know. 
I guess this is big. <laughs> Come on, get out of here! <laughs> big one! What the? It's a ranger! Not just any ranger! That's Jersey! <laughs> Holy shit, it took his whole head off! So much for Ranger Jersey. He's not gonna defib out of that. It's all up to me now. I'm taking that armor. Shit. Mom's gonna skin you alive, messing with Ranger gear. Yeah, but it's still got a lot of Jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is even better than I thought. Crowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model, especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. The meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor? You're brave enough to do his job? What the fuck is that? Seen anything so big? Makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross. I want the first genus. Kill everything else. General Cross. The evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley's lost it or if it's really true. Do know this, though. If it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Son of a stand down! That's a direct order! Watch out! Oh! 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 Crowley, is that you? 
I was set to spare the lives of you original Arcists for experimentation. But for you, I'll make an exception for old times, Elwina. <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. Let's see if we can jumpstart this. Clear. Wait. I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So, this is it then. This is all that's left. Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. Cross, he... He killed her. He killed my mother. I don't know how. But we gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories. <laughs> that the authority would return. Well, they did. And we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Rangers CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. I'm the only Ranger left. Holy shit. <sighs> you really are. Got something for me in here, Prowley. Unknown intruder. This is Presidio Security Protocol. State your name, rank, and business. Walrat Unit, Corporal Walker. I'm here to find information about, um, about my. about Ranger Unit Sergeant Irwina Prowley.
With the dash accession, you will be able to evade incoming threats and become harder to hit. Good. Again, please. And again. Good work. A simulation will allow you to train in the use of your dash accession to evade enemy fire. Three people I need to find. John Marshall, Dr. Kvasir, and Lucem Hagar. They're all part of a Project Dagger, designed to stop the Authority. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah. Your mother is no nonsense, even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Ah, sorry, Lily. But hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. So what you got? Well, I've got lots of ideas for projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. They're gonna be key to your survival out there. So, let's get you your ride. projects here that would benefit the two of us. You need to beef yourself up, and I need to get Vineland into some semblance of order. If you're lucky, your three dagger project contacts will offer you a similar deal, because you sure need to get tough to take on the Authority. Thanks for the tip. All right, heading out. It's a big bad world out there, so be careful. And don't go messing people over. You're a ranger now. You better act like it. Oh. Adios. Too. A fresh ranger. I'm Phoenix. I know I look good. But I drive better. Let's 
you and me go for a spin. Ambush. Yep. You should see if you can clear that clog up. And days are over. All clear. Yeah, the coalition's gonna love that. Destination reached. Ark was brimming with some amazing gear. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty jealous right now, so keep a lid on it, will ya? Systems activating. Tower is out of commission. Great. They got some precious old world tech in them usually. Salvage what you can. Just activating. Stand by mode initiated. 
scanning complete. Welcome to RV 408A. You have successfully installed ID accession. Grab jump. Accepted. Good. Training requirements are complete. Goodbye. some wet work. You know, knock some heads, shoot some 200 muties at the paste. Not looking for a job. I'm here to see John Marshall. Yeah, as it happens, he's the one looking for a skill trigger puller. We got muty problems in gum barrel, see? And we can't do shit until we've fucking rectified that. Yeah, we'll see about that. Where do I find him? He's in the Dud Primer Tavern. Always in the Dud Primer. Can't miss him. Old, scarred, mean, robo-peg. Peeper, half spares, half guy, you know. Heading there now. Oh, uh, whatever that false little greed about tells you, don't try the slime vocal Jimmy Chugger. Unless you want to puke your guts out in the thoroughfare. I mean to come back to Gun Barrel, eh, Ranger? We're literally knee deep in shit. And a Ranger waltzes in after ignoring us for years. This day. What are you talking about? Who are you? I'm Zam Wilco, and I run the Gun Barrel Militia so Marshall don't have to. Listen, I'm not complaining if the high and mighty rangers want to get their hands dirty. I have an urgent situation up north. The Yeoman Farm has been overrun by raiders. Bad, since they're a pretty big local food supplier. All my people are needed here in case the Rubens make another push. So can you help? Well, since you asked so nicely... In your face down this way. Punchy's the name. Maybe your peeps told you about me. I got the good you need out here, and I ain't too high and holy to deal with Vineland people. <laughs> How do you know I'm from Vineland? Ah, you got the outfit, see? I recognize the Dudlers. Uniform like that. The Rangers get them. That means you with Prowley. And that means you can deal with me. Okay, let me take a look at what you have. Ranger time. So, is that situation at the farmstead dealt with? Just head north, aim towards Big Bay. That's so hard. 
Look, Patsy. Riff raff with guns. Fine. Greetings. I'm Rory Success, a famous trade barrel. Come down all the way from Wellspring to recruit for a daring mission against the Goon Squad. Wait. You're not part of the Goon Squad, are you? <laughs> I'm definitely not part of the Goon Squad. Do you like the Goon Squad? Of course not. They're a blight on the Earth. Recently, they had the nerve to take over gas contracts. Gas refinery in the Southern Hills. They are using it to make natural for their combat cars. Nitro should be mine. I can be suicidal to attack them there, but I'll pay you well to teach them a lesson. Nobody steals from Rora's success. What do you say? I generally shoot Goon Squad for free. Commendable, but terrible business. Welcome to the Dead Primer Tavern, home of the slime vocal Chimmy Changa and the best swamp swill in the wasteland. Check your troubles at the door and dance on in. Welcome to the Dead Primer Tavern. I gotta head out. <laughs> I used to be a man of means, you know. I ran a little trading post out there in the sticks. Did good. Supported my family. Then one day, the goon squad just rolled on in and took everything. Killed my people right before my eyes. <sighs> and I didn't even raise a finger. I ran. Like a low down dirty coward, I ran. Been hearing a lot about these goons lately. Gotta head out. Hey, Cody! Hey, let's trade good. some words really? before you head in. Oh, you're new! This is the Dud Primer. Best watering hole in Gun Barrel. Big crowd, rowdy crowd. Marshall trusts me to keep said crowd in check. Name Soul, Soul TV. Don't worry, not here to start any shit. Good for your face. Now you do look like the action-loving kind. You should check out Fusion Bash Arena up north. What a show! What a great show! Watch out for the goddamn beauties, friend. They're sneaky freaks. Yeah. I used to run with mountain lords. Man, the things I saw up there, in their big battle building, oh man, the stuff they got stashed, so much gear, guns and, and stuff, <laughs> but that was before the Mountain Lords joined up with the Goon Squad, they took off, they just left me there, I hightailed it out of there, never looked back. All that cool gear and all them sweet guns just lying there. I bet they're still there. Just laying there, you say? Have another on me, pal. All right. A real body. Now I'm telling you, that's bad intel, Gulo. Mm, Jimmy, you just need a tiny gulp marsh. No, uh, you don't get true swill if you don't give true talk. I speak the day's true marsh. Violence destroyed. Yeah, right. Blown right to shit by mega bad tech mutants. I ain't biting, Gulo. You're just looking for a free fix of swill here. Violent is gone. See? I was talking true. Don't plug it all at once. Ranger, huh? Oh, I haven't seen a ranger here in a long time. John Marshall. Legendary resistance fighter. War hero. We grew up on stories about this guy. I gotta admit, I was expecting something more... impressive. Seems impossible. 
Vineland's defenses were impenetrable. So we all thought. We weren't ready for them. We weren't ready for the Authority. They're back then. I'm guessing you'll hear about the Dagger Project. Problem is, we're under a whole different kind of siege here. Muties. They're clogging up our power turbine in the sewers. Now, if uh, someone was to take care of that... If that's what it takes to get Dagger online, show me what to kill and where. <laughs> you catch on fast. I sent down every Renna killer who walked in here. But they all end up dead. It won't take long. I guess you stock up at the market before venturing into those sewers, Ranger. You get that power back for me, and Dagger's back on track. Well, hey, come again. Marshall sent you, huh? Third one this week. Let's hope you got something they didn't. There's an underground stream down in these old sewers. We hooked it up to a turbine generator. Makes us completely independent. As in, we got our own power supply. We don't have to buy no feltride from greedy traders fixing the market and playing dirty. Mother Nature provides. And how's that working out for you? Well, apart from the occasional wrench in the works, like, uh, say, a beauty infestation clogging up the turbine, we're good. We got our own juice. Plus, there's always a gun for hire to do the jobs if things go south. That's what I am? A hired gun? Hell no. You're a ranger. That's a whole different enchilada. Whole lot spicier and meatier. Just making sure, Marshal. Just making sure. Hey, Marshal, did you know there's an Ark down here? Just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Maybe you got the Nana Tricon in your days. See if you can't get it to open Sesame for you. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Welcome to Ark 402A. It's an Ark Tech shotgun. Man, I've only seen these in old hollow logs. That is combat shotgun. An unstoppable force at close range, with the potential to knock enemies back. Good work. Accepted. In precision aim, the shell's lead are melted into a single solid slug, with great knockback capabilities. Completed. Use the combat shotgun's overdrive against the simulated enemies. Your training is complete. Ending simulation. The old corridor sweep. You got lucky. Not many of those still around. It's uh, hardwired to your nanotrite signature.
have reached the turbine. Like you said, it's gummed up with some nasty mutant goo. Yeah, you made it all the way down to Muty Central, and you're still standing. Outstanding work, Ranger. Now you just need to find the lid and crack it open. Then you can flush it out. the killing machine I am today. I figured. You have that, uh, extra something about you. Like you've been trained by the meanest and the best. She didn't make it. She was killed in the attack. I'm sorry to hear. That explains why you're here, I guess. Filling in for Prowley. Whatever it takes to crush the authority. Amen. By the way, what's your handle? Call me Walker. Walker it is. Ranger Walker, there you are. This is my armory, my base of operations. From here, I'll be able to start working on Project Dagger. Now with the juice flowing freely again, there are a few more projects I could use some help with. I bet there is. Walker, these projects come with benefits for you too. While I'm setting up Dagger, you might as well get beefed up for the grand goddamn cataclysm. Don't know if you know, but Project Dagger involves you driving a jury-rigged tank into Authority Headquarters alone and manually distributing a nanotrite murder Mickey into the Grand Ghoul himself, General Cross. Sounds like fun. Guess I better get busy then. Guess you better. I'll reach you on the comm box when I need you. Grab whatever you need. You'll need every edge you can get. Thanks for backing in my story. Thanks. Uh, I needed this because, well, see? Really needed it. I mean, really. You know those nanotrites you got swimming in your bloodstream? Yeah, they seem pointless. They ain't. Brainiacs figured out a way to poke them. Nanotrite strains. Real wildcat stuff. Give you superpowers. Most of these were lost, but a few backups survived in some of the resealed arcs. You need. Know where I can find one? Now, there's an arc to the south of the strange still intact. Listen, I got no idea how any of that stuff works. But who wants to make that explanation? You get it done, Dr. See ya. I know. Step closer. My soul went. Yes. I know what you want. You want intel, Dean. Low down, Gert. Chapter and verse. Chad Monroe can deliver, but it'll cost you. Yeah, I'm looking for intel. A curious mind sink. Yeah.
activating. Busy on my operations. And don't forget, I have projects that will help you. Coming up on a hostile outpost here. I'm telling you, the trade. Love to have that outpost back in rotation. You gain some goodwill by murdering those men. Lily, this place has a bad vibe to it. Like Mom would have said, Rangers must assess the dangers in advance and go in ready for anything. Wasn't that bad? The outpost is cleared out. All the creeps are done crawling. I'll pass it on. The Trade Coalition will be grateful. The Shrouded used solar panels to power... That's what you're seeing? I suggest you destroy them, or they'll use all that stored power to mess you up. Activating. We're here, Sport. Wall spring. Finally. Now let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lucem Hagar. You. You're not. That's some choice duds you got on there, Go bud. Back to your discount Looks like a in the suit. Real ranger? Yeah, you pass. Welcome to Wellspring. You always pass. Looking bomb, looking dope, looking glitter, and glam. There's more to police in this place than just keeping roughnecks in check. Oh, hey! Nobody you honor gets us with your presence. Like looking bomb, slum scum. looking slick. We got looking standards dope. in Wellspring. Feel me? Yeah. You look like you just grew up on some Grandma, is that you? Look at dirt. Oh, hey! <laughs> It's another ranger. <laughs> Say, you people, uh, you still uh, help others out like you used to? <laughs> you know, like back in the ranger heyday, I've heard all the stories. <laughs> See, my grandma used to be a ranger, but she's old. I worry about her. She lives out there by the racetrack alone, tinkering with her inventions and just being plain old strange. <laughs> I keep telling her to move in with me, but nope, oh no, she won't have it. If you rangers uh, still uh, help, would you mind telling her to come live with me here in Willspring? Another ranger. 
Uh, maybe I could, if I'm headed that way. Thanks a bunch. I can't believe there are still rangers. Gotta go. There's more to police in this place than just keeping roughnecks in check. Gotta go. Do everything you can to avoid them. Please. Hey, Chris Dong had a strong box to the east. One of just a handful of survivors. We were negotiating to join the Trade Coalition when a force of Goon Squad came at us out of nowhere. They trampled all over our defenses. I'm sure they're still there now, tearing up the place. I lost my home and people in a similar way. How can I help? Mayor Lusum says she can't do a goddamn thing about it. If you can, you can grab whatever's still left of that. Really got an arc. That anyone can open the damn thing. Just get rid of those goons. I want vengeance for my people. You there! Yes, you, filthy gun hand for hire. I have paid your master more than enough. I refuse to be treated like this! Lady, I'm not a merc. <gasps> Silence, mercenary scum! And listen instead! My digging crew has not responded in days. I suspect they are busy lining their pockets with my felt trap. Flipping scum. Go punish them, mercenary. Go kill them in main man for their transgressions. You can kick a felt right for your scum and trolls. Nobody betrays bliss and success. Off you go. Shoo shoo. Stand ready. I am ready to supply you. All right, let's have a look. Terminating shopping interface. Redcap's the name. You know, back in the war, I used to supply a resistance base with scraplands. It was built into the this canyon walls and now. I want you to down. drop those clothes and I was thinking about right all here. that stuff not me, long ago. I decided to go if get any fucking one is gonna drop full any of fucking nasty thing. Goo. Is you. If someone was to go there and root out the bastards. And shit, piss well, on them as a You're not so bound yourself. I hear you went through the low rent bin at Goulardi's looking old for tech, a huh? Jimmy to put on your butt fat. Might be worth my time. Well, I'm not the one who came into Warney's and ordered gutter swill like some common glug glugner. In a no trick sweaty, no less. You'll be wanting to shut it now. If everybody saw you, you there, like a fucking bizarre urchin. Listen. You are getting on my nerves now. You really are. You're crossing a line you don't want to cross, buddy. That thing's not helping. That robot leg is yesterday's news, Enough. buddy. No! Dropped him. Damn it. Didn't want to. Well, now he's dropped. Maybe just... Sell your jump. Hey, a new player. <laughs> Fancy looking duds. A winner if I ever saw one. Buyer? Seller? Well... We don't know yet, do we? A trade means everyone walks away happy. Look at the rhyme and mold on this. It's so beautiful. Not to understand. Win win. Get some protein on your belly! Hey. Stop right there, Shinsane. We're on lockdown. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why, has something happened? Nope, and I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... You hear that?
Impressive. You think it can catch a bullet, too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays, backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the Dagger Project. Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy. I'm here about the Dagger Project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was raised to the ground. She's a hologram. I can't explain. I'm Walker, the last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger, let's take these fuckers out! Then we'll talk! Same. They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all! in a barrel. Woo. You got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the Authority, once and for all. The plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project. But as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while, but lately he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware, including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So, I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. You he's got an ego the size of an ecopod, but we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service. Get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there, and you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer. Ranger Walker, I was told to keep my eyes peeled for you. I'm Wyatt Ferris. I handle special operations for the mayor's office. I was wondering who handled Lucem's dirty work. How oh, bland. Stuff you like. Yeah, hello. Yeah, what'll it be? I guess you want to feed that siren of yours. You want some crackers, some murder's pellets? Yeah, right, you come to the right place. Pew, 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 zing. Buy some ammo. Come back alive. Wedge your throat. Tickle your tongue. You want a snack? Want some salty gigator rinds, some pickled sonche eyeballs, and we got lychee slices. And swim. Always swim. 
Maybe later. Not here to relax. Hey, can I get something off my chest? About my old friend Ned? Just nobody listens to me talk about Ned. And I want to talk about it now. You see, Ned, Ned was the kind of guy that had to do the opposite of everyone else. He built his whack outposts and perched on top of a bridgehead. He was practically hanging out over the great crack. And then Ned slipped in some slime gold scat and fell. Came to skull it. I hear the goons live there now. So uncool. I mean, my old friend Ned really hated that those goddamn psycho Mohawks live in his bridge house. Good powers? I got a few tricks up my sleeve. I figured as much. And I figured you'd like some more. I happened to swoop up this message from a merc working for Clegg Clayton. Name of Crom. Clayton, I hit the jackpot. There's a whole uncracked arc just sitting here. Problem is, these assholes shrouded got the jump on us. Killed half my team. You're gonna double my comp, or I'll bring this info to someone with deeper pockets. Watch your back. You wanna know? Who's next up to report a crime? Hey, I'll walk in. whoop de dong Another wasteland yokel lost in the big city. What can she... Sheriff Mako Kuru do for you? I'm a ranger, here to help. Anything going on, Sheriff? Muties. Goddamn muties, as usual. The trigger team down the old tunnels to the house. They've only managed to rope them in. They lack the killing. Something's got to be done, and soon, or we'll have news on top in no time. I'm planning on waiting in that shit like Gun Barrel. Hi. Uh, hi. Hello. Always hungry. Over here, shooter. Interested in a merc job? Yo, I'm Slaghead. I manage most of the caravan trade going through Wellspring. I got a major contract that requires some serious firepower. The goon squad have taken Stilltown to the east, killed everyone, and moved in. I'd say that's bad news. The caravan masters need someone who can take back our outpost. There's a small army of goons holed up there, so we need someone experienced. You look experienced. Sure, I'm experienced. I'll take a look. More than a look, I hope. Let us know when it's clear and we'll send in our people. Here to see Cyberdog Carl. Huh? I'm adjusting the range on this, uh, this ocular implant. It's painstaking work. We're talking nanometers in any direction, and it makes the biggest difference to the wearer. You are a second-generation archist. That much is plain to see. Oh, you have endless potential. Most folks just come here to get a, a limb replacement or a cool ocular. But you, you could become so, so much more. What are you talking about? I can make you hardier and more attuned to your architect. There are several modifications that are compatible with your nanotrites, but the mods require rare items, which you will have to contribute. Scan my mod menu for details. All right, if it's as powerful as you say. Indeed. The procedures are invasive, but your nanotrites will compensate. Let's get started. I suggest looking for more modification materials. It's better than bash. Am I right? Let me tell you, there's nothing better than racing. Yeah, sure, people will say mutant bash this, mutant bash that. Yeah, right. That's not a sport. That's just pleasure killing. Racing, on the other hand, racing is a sport. A sport fit for kings. Racing is for the civilized man, the thinking man, the noble man. If you say so. You should try it. Yeah, you really should. You should witness the splendor firsthand. Something like you could make a killer. Look, 
Because you're a degenerate gambler, that's why. And degenerate gamblers are only welcome to the lounge as long as they got the moolah. You ain't got the moolah. You got no business gambling with the richest and finest people in town. It's temporary. Just a little dry is all. Just a dry spell. I'm coming into some sweet going any day now. Until then, stay out. This is Clegg Clayton's Winner's Lounge. You're no winner, you're a loser, so get lost. Forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Sure, you can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chance Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as dumb as you, right? That all? Yep. You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way? Not for you. Any luck? You get past that Boundzilla at the door? There's a way in. I've gotta go kill the shit out of some muties on TV and grind some metal in the racing circuit. Come a champ. Should be a breeze. Uh... Oh. Let's hope you've got what it takes. Those shows eat up folks like gobbling down peanuts. I, I was thinking, see, I, I I was thinking of a new kind of injection system that's been percolating up here in the block for days now. I'm on the verge of something. It's gonna make me one rich ass French jockey. Uh, oh, yeah, you're here, that's right. Uh, you wanted something? Oh, yeah. You still here? Hey, Lily, I'm eyeballing one. S Get you looking place. Yeah, things ain't Vineland safe no more. Go in prepared, Walker. Hey, Robbie Ranger. We only just blocked this hole to keep the muties from swarming up and killing everyone. Going down there is straight suicide, Ranger or no. But orders are if someone is fool enough to climb down. Inform them that we will be closing the gate tight behind you. We ain't opening nothing until all the slime sacks and eggs and crap is cleared out. Beauties will defend their damn brute with everything they got. They won't let you near their eggs and crap if they can help it. But if, if you manage to bust up all that yakky, then they'll lose interest and scoot off. And then, and only then, don't worry, I got it.
That was nasty, but the nest is cleared out. Nice one. This shit's gotta be nipped in the bud. These things end up in somebody else's sewers down the line. again. And feeling good. 
Weak spot exposed. And they're wide open. Take the shot. Ammunition low. See if I can find anything about Dr. Kvasir here. Ranger. I haven't seen a ranger in a long, long time. We fought back to back, your kind and mine. Back in the war. Name's Mo Rummy. I'm just an old vet who keeps an eye out for the people of Laguni. Been living here a good long time now, and I know just about everyone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Kvasir? Scientist, real old. Haven't heard that name since just after the war. He moved into the deep secreto, and then went completely off the radar. Nobody's seen him since. Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet, on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay. I'm gonna check it out. Any luck finding the doctor? Financially sound. What? Well, we don't get many paying customers lately. Huh? Oh, hello there, sweetheart. This is a sweet little cool world. Name is Joseph. See you soon, sweetheart. Lost it all, Ranger. <laughs> Sad. Look at me now. I used to be the best damn boat builder in all the Secreto weapons. The best damn river hog boats you've ever seen. You built boats for the gang? Sure. But in my cursed rival turned its stump turned the bog hog gang against me. Sewer so rat. I barely got away with my life. They're running my workshop into the ground, turning it to a pigsty. Truly our ranger, let the others have the war. You should teach the bastards a lesson. Maybe I will, old man. Yeah, yeah, I used to bunk with a river hog crew, so what? They stabbed me in the back, the mud fuckers. Was it my fault the mash went bad? I heard a rumor. I heard you're killing hogs out here. And me, Salamandra, just might want to get a bit of payback on that damn ass blaster crew. You win? What's in it for me? Well, in addition to my throbbing gratitude, you should know that Ass Blaster's crew has quite a bit of loot stashed away at that junkyard of theirs. Good loot. <laughs> Good. You follow? Cut 
combat experience? <laughs> I don't know. How hard can it be? It's just dumb beauties. I was gonna head over to the Wetlands Bash Arena. Practice before the big show. It's to the west, at the edge of the Delta. You should come as well. Mutant bashing, huh? <laughs> Might be fun. Found our fallen comrade. I'll add their name to the toll. Good job. Let's take the tag back to the Presidio later. Mom would have liked that. Security scanning complete. Welcome to our 410B. Firestorm Revolver. It is effective at any range and can combust enemies at will.
got authority written all over it. Sounds like a sentry tower. Leftovers from the war. Usually they will fire at anything that comes too close, so be careful if you're gonna go for it. Turret's hot. Turret's hot. Habitat or gigantic lair? Oh, if it's big, like, uh, big, big. You better watch yourself. Sounds like you stumbled on the abode of one of the rogue Abaddon giants. right to gain. Check it out. I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... Let's see. Your reform is wartime issue. Modified for use in Ecopod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be. Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yeah. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, I will let you in. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past, original archist, 
Priapophis. They said he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's... an impressive setup, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes. My lab suffices. Gentlemen! <laughs> my research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Irvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to... But, alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. <laughs> yes, it can. Better computing, however. But alas, my lab is old and dying. Only the elusive Eco-15, still in orbit, could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Eco-Pod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. Remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it, to siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm, yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute, you knew I was going to volunteer to do it, right? Yes. Nanotrite strains can grant you superhuman powers, but the arcs that held them have largely disappeared. I happen to have tracked one down not far from Vineland. I think you should investigate. Dr. Kvasir, about these nanotrite powers... Yes, many rangers in the past were wary of them, but you seem unafraid. And for good reason. Why would you fear remapping your nervous system in unexpected ways? Doctor? What? Oh, yes. The nanotrite strains were locked away in the arcs so as not to fall into the authorities' hands. They are highly powerful, unstable, and 
Wonderful. Is there any danger in using them? Of course, but to defeat the authority, you must take some risks, no? You must become more than human. The rest, we can solve after our enemy is defeated. Out of the sky? Looks like authority technology. Ah, good. But only by my love of genetics. Just one squeal out of your skull! an arc previously untempered. Very rare. Most are already ransacked or moved. We should make this top priority now. Leave that again! I carry you!
Please repeat. Training requirements are complete. Goodbye. Subjects are almost fully completed. <laughs> Outstanding. Final push, and we're all home. I dealt with them. Hey. And I found your stuff. Yeah, they'll come back. They always do. Like roaches. Keep the stuff. I don't need it. Only need the swill. You found that big bad battle building yet? Hey, Walker. Down here. Let's talk. So what's the problem? Problem is, Gulo's missing. And without her intel, we're dead in the water. How so? Well, the scrambler should get you past the authority's security check. The thing is, I need to calibrate it to the current authority sex system, or else it won't work. Sent Gulo out to recon, and she went dark. Right before you got here, I get this. A dispatch, finally. Marsh, Gulo, I located an old authority hall. I think I can use the uplink inside to access the authority current, find out what sex system they're using. But there's trouble, Marsh. Some immortal shrouded are creeping the hills, too, looking for tech and kills. I'm staying low, keeping my eye out. We've got a defiler spy! Grab her! Bring her back to the Orin roost! Marsh! <laughs> I'm found out! They got me! Marsh! Walker, you should know my part of the Dagger Project was always the Scrambler. Snazzy little doodad that will allow you to overcome the Authority HQ's nanotrite corrupting tech. And while I'm working on that, you should get cracking on my operation and other projects. Here's a secret. They're not immortal. They die just fine. I'll get her out. Well, good luck, Ranger. Do bring that twitchy swill sponge back alive, will you? Now, Walker, you should know my part of the Dark Project was always the scramble. Snatch will do that and allow you to overcome the- Adios. I know that look. I tried to avoid getting you. Have you taught those refinery thieves? Uh, safe. I hope you weren't looking for arrests or something. <laughs> no, we don't arrest bandits. Well done, Vinelander. I'll see you around. <laughs> oh, mes amis, look here. What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger, have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. <laughs> Do tell me. Is it a hunger for the promises of the flesh I present you with? Hmm? A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest 
Oh, yes, of wise. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur. The lust to kill. <laughs> you have it. The promise of greatness. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, handsome. And sign here on the line. And now, sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill! <laughs> Kill for <Yeah>. Desdemonia! <laughs>
Yes, that was that. Whew. You weren't kidding. You really kicked the shit out of those muties. Good job. That kind of quality slaughtering can make you a star. I still gotta get behind the wheel at Chaz Car Derby, though. I know, it's a hassle. But hey, Wellspring thanks you for jumping through all these hoops. No skin off my back. As long as you come through on your end, Mayor. You won't regret it. That's pretty nifty. Energy shields detected. Try alternative weapon. Standby mode initiated.
Gulo. Dead. But the signal's still active. I'm sorry, Gulo. This'll get a little messy. Marshal, bad news. I found Gulo. She's dead. Goddamn. I'm gonna miss her. Adios, I guess. Till I see you on the other side, old friend. She gave her life for this. The Locus. It's got the coordinates to the Authority Hole. Then go. We need to figure out what sex system they're using. I'm on the way. At least her last recon won't have been for nothing. Amen to that. She'll be walking right next to us in this fight. One of them banded dens again. Standby mode in Good luck out there. Doctor, I made it to the space center. It's in ruins and, like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Well, look at that. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you full access. Hey, Doc. Better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. I almost have it. Just give me a few more uh, minutes. Take it. 
system thing, even for me. I am just about to break on through. Still running. So far, so good. This better work. Here we are. You have found it! Turn it on and let me handle the rest! That big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Kvasir's tune! It's all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic! The Dagger Project will now... I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in on your location! I'll take care of them. Like the doc said, 
authority mutants. This should be a problem. mutants are no longer a threat. You're good to go. Ah, so swiftly, too. You surely are Prowley's successor. Right. So now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger. Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Plus, plus, I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like... Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how you say, kick the authorities' butt? Sounds good to me. My research is close to completion, but I am lacking one vital component. Please come see me in my lab. On my way, Doc. Car Derby it is. Keep your eyes on the screen. I'm gonna win this. Good luck, Walker. With those psychos you'll be racing, you're gonna need it. In the circuit, man, it's metal on metal! Speed, blood, gas, shattered bones, snap. The, the dazzling sight of my golden rod it is, it is, is a pleasure brutal. to it's any fine. and all's eyes. Oh, unwashed no. If I were you, I'd direct my attention at our master of ceremony, Chaz Morass, and bother me no more. Behold, my beauty, my magnificence, my splendor, that which is immortal You there! I'll need mega simulation, I'll need mega alone! Before Before I I only mega you to a pulp. Well, goddamn. Goddamn. Look what the bone tone rolled in. You here to bet your ass in the race for chairs? Tell me it's so old Nicky Rain. Tell me you sent this wasteland butte to race like a stick of butter on a pile of pancakes. After you, hot sauce. Racing, baby! I can see you got the grit to be great. You got the meat it takes to take the plate. And you got all the trimmings, too. Got a contract right here, Prime Cut. Mm -hmm. You sign that? Well, 
you signing blood. <laughs> oh, you race your way to the top crust like a knife through sirloin, and you emerge victorious and take the gravy too. <laughs> When do I start? Scritch scratch. We got your John H and we good to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you start at the bottom, fresh meat. Get the pity bucket. Prove your sizzle in that slow-mo ride. And then move on. Simmer to the very top like the slickest grease in a gumbo. <laughs> Go grab your ride when ready, huh? There is no shape, insulation, or a shapeless creature. Save now. Save your ignominious tear.
gonna make all today, baby. I do declare you drive my damn Nicky Ray himself. Yeah, you a bona fide winner. And you know what? That means some extra special treats for you. You get to go on the tour tomorrow, Tom, when you bring them down to Wellspring. Yeah, yeah. All the gravy you can got. And you got your free access to all of my safety tracks, too, my friend. Probably like you rather than skin on a skull now. Do come back anytime. In a race on stuff. Mayor Lusum? Got it. Free pass to the winner's lounge. I saw it all on the big screen.
Champ, saw you on the killing screen. I'm here to see Clegg Clayton. Welcome inside, winner. up already I got a great nay tremendous surprise for you all looky over there dames and dudes here he is the infamous wasteland tycoon Clegg Clayton so ego-centered he's been known to torture people just to get their approval <laughs> I the great Clegg Clayton give you the one the only Killer Dilla Walker! Our latest ass kicking champion! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my latest golden goose! You stick with me, and the sky's the limit. You wanna make it big? You wanna be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top! I won't let you down. What's that? I wanna make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best! <laughs> so, what do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the Delio of a lifetime. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, I, myself, need no introduction. Now, you've already heard of how I took my father's legacy and turned it into an empire. Of course, everybody knows the story of irresistible Clegg Clayton, the orphan multi-billionaire extraordinaire. And that's why you're here, of course. I know, everybody wants to see the digs of the wealthiest and most generous man of the land. Ah, here we are. Behold, Killadilla Walker! This is the innermost core of this high-powered city. This is the multi-watt nerve center of the Clegg Empire. My office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am the richest man in town today, but soon, power absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit crone, loosome Hagar, surrenders her mayoral office to me, things here will take a turn or two for the better. Oh, just you wait. So, being rich not enough for you? You're cut out for something bigger, right? Now, let me tell you about my father. My father... My father was a great man. He... Everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father, my father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money, see? I, I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What, what could possibly be so imminent? Oh, right, right. Hold on a second. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby. I gotta take this. Please, make yourself at home. Pour some swill. Have a song shot eyeball. They're extra bobby. Right. Talk to me. Oh, yes. I mean, no. I didn't mean... Listen here. All right, listen. Gizmo's planted. I know. It's already transmitting data. Good job. Now get out of there. Oh, Killer 
Willa Wonka! One more thing. How is decrepit old Lucem these days? Oh, surprised? Yes, I just got wind. Nothing escapes Clay Clayton. Yeah, it's true. My spies and agents are working 27-27 to keep me informed. I guess Clegg got the best of you. I guess you're just a loser after all. And as these are surely your final moments, I shall let you in on my big reveal. Yeah, I got it all thunk out, you see. You see, I've got the most powerful player in the wasteland in my corner. Who? The authority, that's who. I'm on a first name basis with General Cross. So when they take over, oh boy, oh boy, the sky's the limit. And all thanks to my extremely accomplished negotiation skills. Uh, I guess I'm just the best at everything I do. And you're just a stupid little loosome puppet. Well then, goodbye, loosome puppet. Goodbye! You read me? Barely. You okay? Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is Clegg is in bed with General Cross. And we can't dally. I'm sending in a strike team for Clegg. He's gonna talk one way or the other. Over and out. Here's my ride up. Hook me up to their channel so I know what's going on. Yeah. Hold on. Go, go, go! Regroup. Formation. Lock and load. Breach! Clayton, drop the weapon. We're taking you down. You're not taking anything, suckers. I'm Clay Clayton. this job myself. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. 
Well, at least we found the Predator. The dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office, and we'll talk. Make it quick, Rick. So, I drove that scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decrypting the data as we speak. We got a team down in Cleggie's creepy dungeon retrieving the Predator tank and the other tech as well. Great. Let me know when you have the Predator up and running. Will do. Now, with Clegg out of the way and the tank secured, we could benefit from your help on some projects around here. And I have a feeling that you could too. Walker, I've been meaning to ask you. Are you familiar with nanotride powers? I gotta head out. Watch your back. It's bad out there, and you can really make a difference. Get working on my operation, and I'll make sure you benefit from the project that they'll enable. Oh, it... I thought you said the Eco-15 supercomputer was all you needed. I have completed the serum sequence. It is ready to do its job. But it does not know what to work on. You see, I need to program it with a string of General Cross's own DNA. Let me guess. I can find that in a heavily fortified base chocked full of crazed murderers. Oh, and only I can pull it off. Well, yes. Yes, indeed. You have a knack for mind reading, no? Nope. I'm just seeing a pattern. It is amusing. <laughs> the DNA you need is stored in the old Authority Genetic Research Station, where the wicked Dr. Pendros would perform his obscene experiments. There they stored all DNA from all the Authority, including Cross. They will certainly have reacquired the facility for their projects. But hopefully you can, how you say, Blast your way in? That's what I do. Blast into things. Yes, I know. That is why you are perfect for the job. Such an expert. Blaster. I knew I was gonna... Yes. Goodbye. Leaving so soon? Hagar. The Feltrite vision cores have been stripped from all the old machines. Clegg must have used them to power his idiotic tower. We need another power supply if we want that tank to run. You mentioned some good news? Yeah. The gizmo you planted worked like a charm. Listen to this. Straight off of Clayton's computer. I am at my rope's end with you, Clayton. I have been more than patient. I have given you endless support. Yet, you have not delivered on your end. I am beginning to think that Clegg Clayton is not the powerhouse of a man he claims to be. I shall give you one last chance to explain. Consider yourself summoned. Go to the Goliath plant. There you will receive further instructions. That voice. That conceited goddamn zombie relish. I'd know it anywhere. Did we get the coordinates? Please tell me you got the coordinates. That we did. It's an area called Twin Falls, a bandit roost currently held by the Goon Squad. I'm starting to think these low-rent thugs are in deep with the Authority. Would explain all that impressive equipment. If this Goliath plant is any kind of Authority base, hidden under some bandit hideout camouflage, then I bet we can find all the felt vision cores we need there. You read my mind. I'll follow the coordinates, see what I can dig up. Good luck, Walker. Watch your back. Here at Twin Falls, keeping my eyes peeled for any signs of authority presence. All right. Hey. 
Hagar, there's some kind of gate opening. Leading into the mountain. That this is it. Yeah, I'm going in to find out. Look at that. Cled Clayton's little chopper. This place is... I, I can't believe it. They're building... actually building these titanic mutant monsters here. They may be preparing for more attacks like Vineland's. What? Are you sure? Come in, Walker! Hello? Fuck. Breaking up. Okay, let's just get this vision core and get the hell out of here. Let's get more creeps. Uh, I'm gonna need a little of that backup you so generously promised. Uh, extra something something for me and I'll get you what you need. I have been more than patient with you, Mr. Clayton. If you cannot deliver Wellspring to me, then I will have to take it by force. Hey, hey, we have a deal, Cross. Let me remind you that I will let you in as soon as I take the mayor's seat. your dedication, Mr. Clayton, but let me assure you that was never going to happen. You made me a promise. <laughs> you lied to me. And to Clay Clayton, you lied. I would have preferred to take Wellspring quietly, but blood and thunder will have to do. But I am Clay Clayton! Aim away from his face. I want to preserve his what, what, cadaverism what, what, what? memento. No, I, I can go for whatever he's paying you. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Oh, you could have been the richest mutant in the wasteland. Oh, no!
lasers look nasty. Gonna have to cut the power to reach it. Working. Now for the other one. Lasers are down. Let's grab the core and go. Hagar, do you copy? Lost you there for a while. What you got? Well, I got the fission core. Also, Clegg Clayton is dead. You killed him? No. General Cross gave the order via video uplink. Those armless freaks just gunned him down. But Clegg was working for Cross. Was being the key here. Cross was none too happy with Clegg's lack of progress. He was backing him to become mayor and open the gates of Wellspring for his hordes. Which explains the assassination attempt. Yeah. The cross grew sick of waiting. Figured Clegg took him for a ride. He's coming for your city now, Mayor. Not if we come for him first. Bring me that vision core and we'll get the Predator tank up and running. Dagger is bringing this war to Cross's doorstep. Got the Feltrite Fission Core. So we can finally get the Predator tank up and running. Good news, Walker. The Predator tank is a go. Mean, lean, and beautiful. But Dagger isn't complete with just the tank. There's still two major pieces you'll need, and they can only be supplied by Dr. Anton Kvasir and John Marshall. Obtain all three. Project Dagger will be operational. I'm on it. Watch your back. St. Punks who took Gulo. Try to get inside and get me that intel. But be careful. They're assholes. But they're real tough assholes. I'll get you what you need. Like I said, they die just fine. The Authority hasn't used this place recently, I can tell you that much. You think this'll work? Trust me, I know how they roll. They slap a new coat of paint on and call it the latest model. We'll find a way to sneak into the Authority current from here.
Marshal, I'm looking at a jerry rig of pretty epic proportions. Shrouded of slapdash and old CPU onto the authority uplink. Successfully sucking data out of the main line. Looks like those assholes did the job for us. Use the locust to download everything you can. Data is pouring in. Can't waste any time. Wait a minute, did you? Yes. Hmm. Another signal from a ranger suit up ahead. Guess I found it. that they might be. Their biomass is used for the longevity project. You should get them out of there. And if you cannot, kill them like cattle. They are too valuable to our enemy. You really think I would do that? For being a super scientist, you're pretty dumb. Hello? Hello? You are breaking up! If you cannot save them, then kill them!
Okay. In a juice pot. Anyone here? Hey, gonna get you out of here. Yeah, that's right. What did they do to you? They took us one by one behind the red door. Up next. Oh god, up next. What's beyond there? They take them to the red door. All of them behind the red door. Nobody comes back. Nobody. Get yourself out of here. Head back the way I came. I'm here to end this. Might be able to hitch a ride in one of these. Here goes nothing. seeing some pretty unsettling stuff here. I think this is where they're making the clones you talked about. The longevity project. Yes, my assumptions were correct again. You should look for a sample of the good general's DNA and bring it to me so I can put an end to this obscenity. I'm heading inside to look for it. Yes. As I did was unrewarding. I shall take my time with you. Savor every last moment of your pain. Come and get it. <laughs> I think I've got a big enough DNA sample for you. Let me bring it in. Excellent. Forward to getting my hands on it. The Ranger! 
It's Walker, a ranger! You came for us! Are you all that's left? Yes. Most of us were already processed. Turned into biomass for the Authority's experiments. Vineland is pretty much leveled, but there's hope. Lily's there, taking care of business. You should head there and help rebuild. Hey, I'm a ranger. That's what rangers do. I hope it's important, young ranger. The DNA sample. I guess this will put us ahead of the competition. I understand that it was tempting to do this pun, but this is a gray matter. We cannot start celebrating yet. There is simply no time for such skullduggery. This is our crowning achievement. Well, now, place the sample in the extractor. Now, I'll extract the DNA from the specimen. There! The serum is now complete. It will, without a doubt, put an end to the longevity project. Now, only one piece left for you to complete Project Dagger. Go find John Marshall in Gun Barrel. He will have what you need. It's not gonna be a problem, Doc. Leaving so soon? Let's talk. Work like a goddamn charm. Thanks to you and Gulo's sacrifice, we got the scrambler fully functional and ready to kick ass. Go on and pick it up. It's your new best friend. That little beauty will shield you from any authority tech trying to corrupt your system. Trust me, that's a good thing. Dagger is complete. We're ready if you are. Ready to take the authority down for good. Approaching the Authority HQ. This is it. I'm bringing this whole steaming mess down. You've got the Predator. Give him hell.
turrets aren't firing. Stand by for scanning. Casualties needed. Casualties? Hell no, that's it. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna. Again, you are resilient like a plague, pointless protege. It is something of a wonder that you've gotten so far. But, surely, you did not think it would go unnoticed that another General Cross had entered my base. Shut up, fool. Certainly by now you will have understood that we cannot be Stopped. Senseless accomplices fail to understand is 
that mankind has run its course. When man has been wiped out, we, the authority, shall repopulate the world with beings worthy of the name. If you manage to come, I would welcome the opportunity to slay you myself. Wow. 
What will you do now? This time I will kill you. Permanently. I believe you are me. Journey to the afterlife together. Pointless protest. 
protéger
see? <laughs> I, I told you she would be fine. A little nanotrite reprogramming cocktail was all that was needed. I say, you got lucky. But if I can save Walker from Doom, then perhaps someone can save Cross from Doom too. You need me still. Yes, let's go! Ah, you're back. Ranger strong and good to go. You know, that dagger worked like a charm. No more cross clones to worry about. And that we know of. Shame we almost lost you in the process. Vasir gambled with your life. The serum you used to kill Cross could have been the death of you too. But he was able to reverse the process once Lily brought you in. And lucky for him. Lily was about to blow his precious brains out there and then. When you come to, there's gonna be plenty of work for the Violin Ranger yet. But for now, you just rest your bones. Walker, don't try to talk. I'll be here for you. When you're ready, we got plenty of work to do, Ranger. <laughs> <laughs>